morning and salam Ibu Pertiwiku. Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Johari Tunopeng said Sarawak's growth this year is projected to outpace the country's economic growth forecast of 4.5%. He said based on development planned by the Sarawak government, the state economy is expected to grow by about 5%. Referring to the state budget for this year, the injection of public expenditure will stimulate the state's economy and there will be business opportunities. Speaking at a business dialogue session organized by Sarawak Chamber of Commerce and Industry, SCCI, Cebu region yesterday, Abang Jari said the budget announced towards the end of last year total of 11.1 billion ringgit, of which 9 billion is earmarked for development. He added that the Sarawak government will emphasis on, emphasis on improving logistics, opening up of land, Internet of Things, IoT and developing local talent in innovation. Abang Jari also mentioned the use of technology to capitalize on the favorable climate for agriculture, as well as efforts to improve the digital infrastructure which includes going 5G in certain strategic areas, as among other efforts being undertaken by the government. Cases of substance abuse that are not considered illegal under the Dangerous Drug Act 1952 are showing an upward trend based on recent developments. Welfare Community Wellbeing Women Family and Childhood Development Minister Datuk Sri Fatima Abdullah said that activities involving the abuse of substances such as blue, nospen pills and ketom could lead to more several drug addictions later on. In 2016, the narcotics, the narcotics Department of the Royal Malaysian Customs Department Sarawak seized Ketum leaves weighing 2,591 grams. In 2017, however, the number of cases increased to five with a total of 5,328 grams seized. Fatima disclosed this statistic to the media after a meeting with the National Association for the Prevention of Drugs, Pemadam, on strategic plans on drug and substance abuse prevention and education. She further stressed that a drug and substance abuse among vulnerable students should be prevented at an early stage through holistic and collaborative efforts. She urged to decriminalize drug and substance abuse by providing as much effort and help as they could have issues such as psychological or family problems that drive them to drug or substance addiction. On another note, the Ministry of Welfare, Community, Wellbeing, Women, Family and Childhood Development has come up with a standard operating procedure, SOP on child adoption. Dato Sri Fatima Abdullah said the SOP, which has all the important points, is contained in a booklet to become a guideline in regard to child adoption. This is to ensure the adoption to be carried out properly and the certificates are issued based on the correct procedure. According to her, a proper child adoption process would make the issuance of citizenship easier and faster. And that is all for me. I'm Imesrani for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere. <laughs>